$45,000 in a single day on my Shopify business. I'm gonna be sharing with you today exactly how I achieved this figure, everything involved, and as we approach Black Friday, these are going to be some very important things that you can implement now, ready for Black Friday, Cyber Monday weekend, which is literally in 26 days time or so. So if you're watching this before then, you are in for a treat. This is going to be incredibly valuable and stuff I wish I knew two years ago, for example, to make the most of Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Now, just before we jump into this, I am just going to show you my Shopify dashboard to give you a bit of context on how Black Friday, Cyber Monday was for me last year. You can see here, um, if you're on the homepage of Shopify, you can break your analytics down by BFCMs. You can see if we go to 2022, we did $47,000 across the weekend. Uh, the best day being the Saturday, which was just under 15K in revenue. But if we then jump to last year, 2023, we 3 x that and did 163K in a single weekend and had pretty much back-to-back -back days. The Friday and Saturday, you can see here, uh, about $45,000 worth of revenue, which is a lot, and it was a lot to manage, don't get me wrong. It came with its stressful moments, but we're going to talk We're gonna talk all about that in today's video. Um, let me know how your Black Fridays have been as well in the comments down below. I'd be incredibly interested to see how... Um, they've been in the past for you, what you expect to do this year, but that is how mine have been uh, in the past. Now, towards the end of my last video, I did mention I am now offering one-on-one -on -one mentorship. This is a great way to work personally with me. I don't do sort of group coaching calls, if you like. It is simply one-on-one -on -one with myself to give you the attention you deserve and the information that's relevant to your business. Because with group coaching calls, you could sit there for an hour and not really get any useful information because each business is different. So if you want help growing your business and need any help with Google Ads, building a brand, email marketing, anything at all, then drop me a message on Instagram and I'll be in touch and we can definitely get that sorted. And if there's a time to do it, it is now. We're approaching Black Friday. Let's get some things in place to have the best possible BFCM weekend for your business. Okay, let's jump into this. There are a few things you are going to want to consider now before even black friday comes around and this is based on lessons learned over the last few years if you rely on aliexpress drop shipping for example i would highly recommend moving away from that finding a private sourcing agent or fulfillment agent whatever you want to call them because you're never going to truly know the stock levels of a product on aliexpress and if you buy you know you might surprise yourself and have a really good Black Friday, Cyber Monday weekend, but then if your supplier on AliExpress runs out of the product, you're gonna have no orders, you know, there's gonna be no way to fulfill your orders, which is just gonna result in a ton of chargebacks. So if you haven't already, move away from AliExpress. AliExpress, don't get me wrong, is very good for testing products, but for your best sellers, you really want a fulfillment agent to manage those for you. Now, if you've got a fulfillment agent that you're already working with, please, you know, I can't recommend this enough because we had a few issues last year with ours. Make sure they're going to be using the safest, the quickest and the most reliable shipping lines to whichever country you ship to. Because last year, for example, with my business, some of the larger sized physical products we sell in terms of, you know, dimensions and weight, we tested and found out the hard way a new shipping line that we were told from the provider is going to be quicker it's going to be safer turns out wasn't the case some people ended up waiting longer than expected for their parcels and that resulted in more refund requests and a few chargebacks so it could have been a lot worse luckily my fulfillment team reshipped any orders that were affected completely free of charge so it didn't cost me anything Stick with the reliable shipping lines, especially this time of year. Q4, Black Friday is not the time to be testing new shipping methods for your business. Use what works because you don't want to run in, into any issues this time of year. Now, another thing is going to be email marketing. As you may know, if you've watched me in the past, I outsource this. I've got a professional who manages email marketing for my businesses. If you do it yourself, just spend a day or a few hours just planning out your Black Friday, Cyber Monday campaigns. So that way you've got a clear structure, ready to go. You don't necessarily need to schedule the campaigns now. Just get a rough idea and a plan in place. So you don't wake up on Black Friday morning thinking, oh God, I've got to send out a bunch of email campaigns. I have no idea what to do. Just get it ready. One less thing to worry about. And if you need inspiration, 
just go through your personal email inbox. I'm sure many of you are subscribed to some of your favorite brands. For example, myself, Gymshark, things like that. Just go back and see what emails these brands sent you last year and just you know get a good idea of the subject lines and the offers and the content within the emails. That should be enough to give you a good starting point with your email marketing plan. And just quickly jumping over to my email marketing account on Clavio. This is the same period you can see here, November 24th to the 27th of last year. Black Friday, Cyber Monday, obviously here, you know, 163K revenue in total. But you can see 50, pretty much $53,000 of that total revenue has come through email marketing. Almost one third of revenue just for that weekend has come from emails. So this is another good point that if you're not using emails, you really are missing out because these figures just speak for themselves. Well over $50,000 of extra revenue from email. So again, I can certainly help with this if you are interested in the mentorship. So I just wanted to share this with you because I can't stress enough, it is one of the most important aspects of running a successful business. And if you're not using it, then you really, you know, you're missing out massively. Now, again, leading on from the previous point, it's all about preparation. And this goes deeper, this goes further, this goes into your ad accounts and not just on the surface level of stock fulfillment. You can start to make preparations within your ad account, whether it's Google, Meta, Pinterest, Microsoft, whatever you use, you can start to make these changes today, which will benefit you in a couple of weeks time when BFCM does finally come around. And a great example here is you want to be gradually increasing your campaign budgets now rather than leaving it to the day. And by doing this, a great point here is you're already preparing your campaigns for the higher spend and you're reducing that risk of completely losing the optimization. Now, a good example here, let's say you've got a campaign in Google right now that's a £100 a day budget. Now, based on past experience or what you expect you might want to spend on Black Friday, let's say you want that campaign to be a 500 pound budget on Black Friday. Now, you're not gonna just wait and up your budget by 400 pounds that morning. You're gonna to wanna to gradually increase this for the next couple of weeks. So by the time we get to Black Friday, it's already at 500 pounds or perhaps beyond based on performance because a lot of people might think, okay, I'm just waiting for Black Friday. That's only really gonna be the day where performance is really good. But from today, I'm making this video on the 1st of November most businesses will see a gradual increase in demand, sales, traffic as we approach the Black Friday, Cyber Monday weekend. So let's say you do the opposite and wait for Black Friday and scale a campaign from £100 to £500 in a single day. That's a huge jump. That could easily throw off the optimization. It could easily spend that budget as well and it could easily spend it terribly and you could make a loss. So it's just about getting your campaigns prepared and ready. So what i would suggest and what i always do from this sort of point on every three or four days this is for google and meta mainly every three or four days i am going ahead and increasing the budgets by about 20 percent or so and just making those small changes as we lead up to black friday cyber monday so everything is ready beforehand so we're not sitting here panicking on black friday morning thinking oh god i need to up my budget it's already going to be in place and it's just something i highly recommend based on past experience now another very important talking point here is going to be the creatives and the overthinking of the aspect that you need to completely change all of the ads you're running on facebook to black friday themed ads last year in reality for this example i've given you today 10% of my ad spend across that weekend was probably focused on Black Friday specific ads. And all I did for those, I would take the ads that are doing the best at the moment. For my business, it is mainly static image ads. And I would simply add a Black Friday banner across the top. Um, by that, I mean across the top of the image, I'd just add something extra on Photoshop and make that the, the difference there. But I would keep the same ad copy. I would keep the same headline. I would keep the same landing page but simply have just that Black Friday banner across. Now, a lot of people think that they need to suddenly turn off everything in the ad account and only run Black Friday themed ads, but you really don't want to be doing that. If an ad is working, it doesn't matter if it's anything related to Black Friday or not. It's probably not because it might be an ad you've, you know, you've been running for several weeks or months. Why would you turn something that's doing well off just to replace it with a Black Friday ad that you can really only run for a few days because once it's over, 
you, you can't really run Black Friday ads in the middle of December, for example. So if you've done that in the past, don't do it. If you want to allocate a bit of spend, 10, 20% is fine because these are going to be useful to people who are familiar with your brand and existing customers and things like that. So if we just go through a few points here very quickly. You can see I've mentioned Google ads as well. Now, you don't necessarily need to add a bunch of new asset groups to Pmax campaigns. You don't necessarily need to make brand new search campaigns, Black Friday themed. Within search campaigns, you can obviously schedule promotional things and things like that for headlines to only appear, appear on certain dates. That's absolutely fine, but don't be creating whole new search campaigns just for the sake of running them for you know three or four days. And something I always say, and people ask me, okay, how much do you discount prices by and things like that? I often say I rarely do a massive discount on Black Friday because people are already gonna purchase anyway. Everyone is in the buying mood, Everyone has got that habit in them that they need to spend money on that weekend. So why reduce your products by 50% when people would have purchased them anyway for the full retail price? You might add a discount code here and there, perhaps 10, 20% off on the header if someone uses a code. Email marketing, obviously you want to be offering a discount, but in terms of the main price on your website, I will never really reduce it more than 10, 20% because there's simply no need. Why sacrifice your profit margins when volume is going to be higher anyway and people are going to purchase the product regardless of the price just an interesting point and a slight side note there with pricing on black friday now if you're heavy on search you can like i said go through and add some time-based uh, headlines to your search campaigns such as the offers you're running with meta i've already spoken about this you have a good opportunity to take your winning creatives and make small tweaks to them and my example there would just be if you've got a winning image ad just add a Black Friday banner across the top of it. Keep the same ad copy, text, subheading, and landing page. You don't really need to change too much there. And don't shovel all your budget once again to these ads because they're only going to last a few days anyway. I've already mentioned I didn't turn off any winning creatives and replace them with Black Friday ones. Run them alongside. And again, very important here, you know, why, why would you turn off any winning ads? It's just, it doesn't make any sense at all. And I guess the most important thing is, and I've mentioned it already, don't feel like you need to replace all your ads with Black Friday themed ads. No business does this. Anyone who has past experience with running a business through Black Friday, Cyber Monday will know that the best performing ads are always going to be ads that have been running for weeks or months within the account. And they're not going to be random Black Friday ads that you launch within a few days of that weekend. So my point here is focus your spend and your budget increases on what is already working now. And don't get too caught up in running Black Friday specific creatives over on Meta. So those are some of the most important points you should consider now to have a successful Black Friday Cyber Monday. Again, this is a screenshot here from the dashboard. You can see the 24th of November last year, 15,000 visitors, pretty much $45,000 in revenue, exactly 300 orders. Finally, again, if you are interested in working personally with me on a one-on-one -on -one mentorship basis, then please do reach out to me on Instagram. Link to that will be in the description down below. Other than that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.